Now this is probably more for the younger ones in the room. And about you, many times in life it would be like, hey mom, you know, where's that verse that says, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> hey mom, where's that verse that says God's gonna protect me? You know, like, you either have it in you or you don't in moments like this. There was no hey mom call, okay? It was like, oh my gosh, you know, like, there was no time to Google where, you know, where's the verse about God's protection. It was like, it's in you or it's not, you know? And thankfully, I had been obedient. The Lord had, had asked me to memorize um, just a couple weeks before this, Psalms 27, which is, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? When evil men advance against me to devour my flesh. Yeah, good moment. They will stumble and fall, right? So I, and I just instantly went to that and I was like, okay, God is my salvation. He will make my enemy some will fall. And instantly when I agreed with faith, even it was so small, this supernatural thing happened, you guys. I, it was so supernatural, not natural, okay? Not natural. I am not like, oh no, I, I was afraid, okay? And instantly all fear left my body entirely, completely. And I was, it was a gift of faith, supernatural faith, just like came from heaven and poof, landed on me. It was like he saw my pathetic little, my card I put on the table. And he was like, he threw the whole deck down of cards. You know, it was just like, whoa. It was like instantly supernatural. Fear was gone. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was so convinced in that moment. I was so not afraid. Mm -mm. I was so convinced. If they even thought about putting a finger on me, the daughter of the living God, right? He was going to strike them dead. Woo! I was so confident, absurdly confident in that moment that I actually felt bad for them. So I got out of bed to tell them. There was a window that was cracked open and I was on my way to the window to tell them, you have five seconds to leave or God's going to strike you dead. And I just didn't want to see it. So I was going to warn them. Like, I, was, I need to get some sleep and I don't want to watch you die. So you need to leave, you know? It was so bizarre, so bizarre how confident I was in that moment. And I... On the way to the window, it's a funny story for those of you who've heard this, it's like awesome. Um, in this room I've never been in before, it's dark, there's, what I didn't realize, a plastic bag on the floor. Awesome. And so I'm marching over there to tell a piece of my mind, and I slip on the plastic bag, fly across the floor, bam, hit the dresser, like totally out for the count on the floor, like, are you kidding me right now, God? Seriously, this is not how this is supposed to end. Totally out on the ground, but it was like this weird noise between the plastic, the sliding, the uh, you know, and the whatever, hitting of the dresser, and um, and I just felt like God was like, yeah, you just stay there, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of this for you, you know, and I'm like, alright, so I'm just like totally out on the ground. What was so great about this moment was, it's kind of like a Gideon moment, it was just like the weird combination of noises, I don't know, the plastic, the sliding, whatever. It freaked these guys out. They didn't know what it was. So one of the guys, the window's cracked open, and his arm goes like this, right? His arm jerks when he hears the noise. Great. When his arm moves, it sets off the motion light. The motion light going off sets off the dog barking. I'm like, yeah, this is good. This is good. And, and they're going back and forth in Swahili and English. It's really funny. And they're just like, oh my gosh, what was that? Somebody's coming. They're bringing the dogs. They have a gun. I'm like, a gun? You know, really? A gun? Like, it was a bag, you know? No, I heard a gun. I heard a gun, you know, whatever. And, I'm freaking out, and they take off. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Thank you. You should all be clapping, people. I did not get raped and killed. Let's give thanks to Jesus. Thank you.